I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in she might turn around and probably ghost you in the end what's up y'all oh dang get that out of here okay this 1028 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video all right now okay i don't know what that was about i don't know who put that there I don't know where these objects, y'all, who these things belong to, I don't know, I'm just kidding, okay, what's up y'all, how y'all doing, um, I hope y'all are looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good, let me take my keyboard off, shout out to Apple, if Apple ever wanted to endorse me, come check me out, okay, I will promote your products, I definitely got stock, you know, I don't believe in stock market, I only believe in the crypto market now, but as far as Apple go, I got stock with you, Apple, so Apple, if you want to come, and bless me with any of their products, you know. I will always endorse you. Check me out, okay? With that being said, please go and get you guys Forever uh, Roses Forever by New York. I got to do that better, okay? I just got to, all right? Um, they sent me this beautiful box of roses. Y'all know I love me some roses. They last forever. This one is white, and it actually comes with a little storage. I don't put anything in it because it's just, you know how something just classy all by itself? So I just keep it in my office. I love it. There's a code, okay? So if you guys want to order one, there is a promotion code underneath this video, okay? All right, Roses Forever New York. Go ahead and copy some. You know you want some. Y'all know y'all want some, all right? And thank you guys for being one of my first endorsements. I mean, to give an endorsement is a big deal. I'm like, God damn, nigga, okay? All right, but I want some natural endorsements. So if you have natural products, okay, and you know they work, Send them over, shout it, okay? Because I will put them on on screen. I will let everybody know. You know, I will let everybody know, all right? So, Scorpios, let's see what we doing today. I hope you guys are doing look and good and feeling good. I can't wait till retrograde is over, y'all, because I can't speak. Now, I know these hoes is having a frenzy with me, okay? Because just I can't speak. I can't rhyme. I can't do nothing. I can't wait till January 1st. <laughs> so, Scorpios, it says peace within your home brings peace within you okay so scorpio make sure you ain't got nobody in your house that's bothering you okay because when you peaceful in your home you peaceful in your heart and i i feel that scorpio i love my house i love my peace i love my daughter you know i just love her i love her i love her energy i love that it's just us up in here okay so peace within your home brings peace within you so scorpio if you have somebody in your home and all you want to do is get a piece of steel, you got to change that. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. You can't be disrupted in your home, okay? It also says when you, per when you <clears throat> okay, when you prioritize the things that create calm and peace within your body, within your mind, and within your heart and soul, you immediately increase the peace that you experience in your everyday areas of life. So a lot of you guys need to understand, like, cleaning your house, having clothes washed, just a fresh home, burning that motherfucking candle like, yes, okay, getting them pajamas and sliding in that motherfucker, woo, you know, there's nothing like that, dude or female energy, you know it ain't, floors vacuum and shit, you like, hell yeah, okay, only little ass is your ass printed, or you in a baddie on the sofa, okay, or in the bed, y'all know how y'all do, but the point Point that i'm just trying to say is that that is peace and there is no greater gift that you can give your loved ones than taking care of yourself okay so scorpio you are a scorpio that take care of themselves you take care of your home you take care of your looks you take care of your body and that shit is peaceful okay and what you do this week is really important so make sure you put your mind first your body first and your spirit first especially your health okay so that you can have happy energy in your home what a great start okay so scorpios get your shit organized burn the when i when i clean my house and burn the candle you know it's popping you know i don't want no dirty motherfuckers there. like oh your dirty ass shoes in here gratitude is your foundation for a good life scorpio 
this is bomb okay so scorpios y'all understand being thankful for a candle okay some of y'all didn't get shit for christmas okay i okay for real i did get something for christmas but uh some of y'all didn't get anything for christmas but you was just grateful for a candle you was just grateful for you know your house being clean your bills being paid other people bought your kid gifts and it was enough and you was like hell yeah okay so some of y'all just is happy just to have what you have okay some of y'all didn't even feel like christmas you like what was this holiday that just passed okay the next day happy you need no okay but scorpios you are in a lot of gratitude and because of that you have a firm foundation of a good life this really means that even if you are a scorpio that can stay home you know you like gourmet move meals and stuff but you can stay home and you can eat a tuna sandwich you can live off less and be happy this is the kind of gratitude that they talking about this is why you gonna go for a long time because you ain't you ain't a hard pleaser you know what i'm saying most of the dudes that date me they be like yeah man ashley pfft. She looked like she all expensive, but this girl, okay, one of my exes be like, she eat the same shit still. He watched me to this day, and he like, look at her, eating the same Panera shit at Panera, but nigga, I changed it up. I don't eat broccoli cheddar no more, because I can't eat the cheese, okay? So, okay, now I eat uh, the wild rice one. <laughs> okay, so I'll probably be on that for the next nine years. <laughs> It take you know, Scorpios, we fix. We just like what we like, you know? I go to five-star restaurants and just only get what exactly the fuck I want. And then leave. People are like, that's all you want to get? Bitch, I'm going to another restaurant, okay? Spirit, okay. Scorpio, somebody is very codependent on your house. This is crazy. Somebody is codependent on your peace. And somebody is codependent on everything that you got going on. It says codependency. This is a relationship, an addiction. You are relying too heavily on the other person for the sense of self-worth. Give yourself more self-love, okay? So somebody just like everything you got going on, okay? They like your house, your car, your kids, your clothes, okay? <laughs> okay, they, and they was codependent on it. They they liked it, you know? Um, this is not a bad energy. This is what I would say with this energy, with codependency, with peace within. Somebody realized they want peace within okay scorpio somebody realized that you showed them what pieces this is somebody who live in chaos or their home is disruptive their life is disrupted they don't really have no peace scorpio you show somebody who is very codependent on toxic behavior what heaven on earth looks like this is great a lot of you guys don't understand heaven on earth is just being grateful for where you at i don't give a fuck i'm so grateful i ain't at my mama's house <laughs> okay you know what i'm saying so there ain't no day that you're gonna see me get up here and not even be happy to be at this board because i mean i love my mom and my dad but my dad never wanted me to leave okay because i ain't got no husband so it's like i would still be there and i love my dad so you know to be codependent on peace scorpio you could be codependent on your independence you like i love these girls you know i want them to come over i i put satin pillows down for their hair so their ends don't split but then when they leave i just want to be here on my drawers i just want to watch football i don't want nobody around but one day you will scorpio male you know and 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 that's gonna be a great day because you lived out the days on the sofa in your drawers you feel me you lived out the days where you just woke up worked out with stank and you just walked around and cooked your food stank and nobody was like oh i smell you okay bitch this is my house okay i can walk around stank in my house i still want to do more things being stank and i understand that i don't go to the gym i can't relate like that but i see you guys doing different things you know some of you guys just don't want to masturbate in the bathroom and i understand that you don't want to hide in the bathroom maybe you want to do it and you know i don't know you know i don't know why y'all do this when you're taking the dump that's a weird i don't know who's doing that that is too much i am so sorry that is intrusive okay so wherever you have to go to do what you're doing that's on you but that's a lot okay but i don't know what's going on i can't i don't want to see that i gotta get that out of that i gotta get that out of that okay <clears throat> let's redirect Whew. i don't know where i went with that whoever this man is or whoever you are okay it says knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people so damn scorpio let's tell it okay so scorpio you show this person a darkness now this is what you do you a trigger okay trigger finger light what okay so you are a trigger and knowing all of the bad parts of you scorpio allowed you to be like oh yeah that's some toxic shit oh that's some fuck shit oh that move wrong you was easily able to peg everything that was going on because you toxic as fuck but you've overcome these toxins okay but see knowing your dark side is why you can move so 
effortlessly, lightly, you know what I mean? And you can peg things that are toxic in your life because you recognize what toxic is. It says knowing your darkness is the best method of dealing with darkness of other people. So you might have went to somebody and be like, oh, y'all like you, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Hit it real good because you wanted it, you know what I'm saying? But when you started to see all the credentials, you were like, that's toxic, that's toxic, that's toxic, that's oh, god damn. Okay, and Scorpio, you knew it was toxic, but you didn't give a fuck, okay? But the thing about it now is... Uh, you are in a place where you're thankful that you have the knowledge to point out things that are toxic. You're thankful that you have the knowledge to bring yourself back and know that you want to be in peace and how to find peace. These, a lot of people don't know how to find peace. That's why they stay in toxic and keep inter, interchanging their body with, with bad people because they're attached to toxicity. Somebody likes you. Somebody is attached to your peace. Somebody's attached to your home and somebody's attached to your gratitude, your foundation and how you got where you are. And the only reason they're attached to this is because you called them toxic. I heard nee, 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 nee. <laughs> it says inconsistent. Oh, so whoever this is, they couldn't even keep you on a regular rotation, baby. It says think about your thoughts and actions and routines. Are they inconsistent? Does it serve you well on a daily basis? So somebody, Scorpio, you could have been like, you need to be more consistent with me. You need to talk to me every day, okay? You could have been telling this person that, or this person could have been telling you that. And you was probably like, nah, bro, I talk to you when I want to. I talk to you when I feel like it. You're not going to tell me when to talk to you, okay? So whoever this was, they was like, uh-uh. They ain't stepped to the plate, okay? So if this was a girl, this girl could have been saying this to this boy, okay? It's feeling like deja vu in these reading eyes. Then like deja vu, okay? Deja vu mean you got a boo. That's not your man, but you could have been deja vuing, okay? But you remember this shit, okay? Um, but it's just a word that I made up. Anyway, um, yeah, somebody was really inconsistent. And this could have been you, Scorpio. And you could be like, shit, I'm a Scorpio. I ain't got to be consistent with you. I can pick you up when I want to. I can drop you down when I want to. I can do whatever the fuck I want to. Or this is the energy this motherfucker gave to you. But this shit came out in the upright. So both of y'all is on this shit. Both of y'all was inconsistent. Both of y'all felt like, shit, I could do whatever the fuck I want. But did it really serve you, Scorpio? Did it Did it give you what you want? Or did it give this person what they wanted? Who, whoever it is, both of y'all giving the, bitch, I got that shit too. Bitch, what's up with it? Okay, so this is some serious battling here. Like somebody could just be hitting you with that same energy back. Oh, suspiciousness. Okay, so, okay let's see. <sighs> is a quality of distrust and disbelief give yourself reasons why you feel this way okay so somebody was inconsistent because they was doing something else they was codependent on somebody else's energy that was dark okay now scorpio this person felt like you was doing stuff okay but this shit is in reverse so this person was going to other people's houses or they was going or letting other people come to their houses. They was doing things with other people, talking to other people, engaging with other people. And they kept these people, Scorpio, because honestly, you was too peaceful, okay? So they felt like you had a rotation or you had a lineup or you had other niggas or you had other females when you didn't have anybody. You really just had this person. And that's why you kept pressing this person to be consistent with you because you really liked them. That's crazy. But this person kept other people around because they just felt like you had other people. So they had to keep these people because they liked you too much, you know. But you just really wanted to be with this person. You just really wanted attention from this person, okay. Um, you just wanted to be with this person. And you wanted peace with this person. But this person didn't give you no peace. Um, yeah, so this person kept other people around because they felt like you had other people. Even though they had no proof of it, they just felt like you had other people. You might get attention and that might have been all that it was. But you really only had this person. You only wanted to be with this person. You tried to help this person by pointing out their dark attributes so that they would change them. But they, they was triggered by that. They was triggered. They just felt like, oh, you... I mean, if you told this person you was psychic, then they thought you thought that you was like Miss Cleo and they wanted to prove you wrong, you know? But if you just was a regular person and you was like, that's toxic, they kept they wanted to get away from you because you was reading them. They're like, what the fuck? Did you bug my phone? What the fuck? Um, it says, past wounds need healing. Work on yourself. You are greater than you know. So, Scorpio, you're not jealous or envious of people, but you are possessive as fuck. And you might have been real like, you know, this mine, you know? Uh, we do that. We be clingy. We, 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 but this person wasn't, in, they was inconsistent with you. So you really couldn't be clingy as you wanted to be, but you were possessive. You, you wanted to say, Hey, this is mine and you can't go nowhere. 
okay you was clean all right and i think this person liked it because it did come out in the upright so even though you was possessive this person wanted you to be like hell yeah scorpio motherfucking claiming me scorpio they like this attention they were like hell yeah okay but the thing about when scorpio give you all that attention you know they could take it away and it'd be like a desert i heard That's when that little that little ball of breeze go by, <laughs> okay, in the desert. Okay, somebody could have got some cowboy boots. Okay, they could be silver. Um, yeah. So love how love has no ownership. Everyone has free will. So Scorpio, you thought this love was gonna keep them. They thought you thought that if you loved them right, you treated them right, you was possessive over them, showed them like, oh, I love you. I, I want to tell the world. Okay, I heard uh, Gotti. I want to let the world know. Angela Simmons, okay, so somebody was just like, yeah, I'm finna put it on the internet, god damn, okay, so somebody, you know, Scorpio, you could have put it on the internet that you like, you know, you could have said, I like you, you could have said it, like, not saying it, but you could have just did extra shit to let this person know, like, hey, I'm fucking with you, you was possessive, they was addicted to everything outside of you, look at this, addiction in reverse, okay, so Scorpio, this person was mad because they feel like they couldn't get you hooked, I know that sounds strange, but it seems like whoever this is, they get everybody else hooked. Everybody be on their shit, on their job, but they couldn't get you hooked. They couldn't get you addicted, okay? This person got a lot of addictions, but you're kicking them. So this is weird, too. This person may have a lot of addictions. It could be alcohol addiction, uh, drug addiction. I don't think weed is an addiction. It's a herb, unless you got tobacco in it. This person could have had a sex addiction, Um these addictions are being kicked by your presence or these addictions are being dismantled because of this person meeting you or liking you or watching you or stopping you. I don't know. But these people, this person is not having these addictions anymore because of something that you're teaching them or something. I don't fucking know. Okay. All right. You also have find a better way to heal your anger. So somebody is realizing they don't need to be vengeful, but they superficial as fuck. Okay. So somebody knows that you're nice and kind and loving and a healer and you're not vindictive you just protective of your peace and your home and you're grateful but somebody just showed you a superficial side to them they showed you that they didn't care too much about what the fuck you got and they don't give a fuck about you either uh they 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 wanted to show you i don't know i don't know i don't know this person liked you a lot but they didn't want you they didn't want to gas your fucking head up and this is a big deal to them they don't want you to get gassed up like i don't know this not something that they you know and you shouldn't be with no nigga like this it, even if this is a female i be getting angry about this if you like me you better like every fucking photo i fucking post and you start to support me if you my friend you better do that too that's how scorpios are if you're not gonna like everybody i know even y'all y'all post some shit i follow y'all when my fans follow me i follow y'all back and i go into y'all lives and i like up y'all stuff and i encourage you and i make you be the best version of yourself why the fuck would i come in your life to stalk you all the time and watch you and not like shit fuck these people if they doing this shit to you y'all don't do that okay you like up people's stuff if you like them and you engage that's what social media is about y'all use social media as a tactic to manipulate people and, and treat people bad about starting their goals and stuff like that this is a cash market bro okay somebody be on facebook marketplace too much buying a lot of shit okay i don't use facebook for that i was i only i i was on facebook when it was just facebook you know when they started letting my mama and stuff get on there i'd be like i gotta be careful shoot my whole family london you're everybody on there i gotta be careful what i, I put on facebook but yeah, man, Scorpio, somebody thought you was superficial, so they were trying to give you their superficial face, okay? And it didn't work out. This person was trying to treat you like you was shit because they thought you had a lot of options, but you only like this person. You only wanted to be with this person. This person hurt you, and you had to go home. Whatever this is, you went home. You went home, and you sat on the sofa, and somebody could be sitting on the sofa in their drawers, yeah. Somebody feel like this is true love, and they really attracted to you, but Scorpio, you could be over the bullshit. Too much shit could have occurred with this person. You could be like... But they feel like this true love. They feel like they want to be with you. Let's see what the hidden truth is and close this out. Because I don't want to be in this person's energy no more. What's the hidden truth with this person? They definitely don't see shit the same way now. They like, damn, I, I probably shouldn't have played all these dumbass games. Like, this shit landed me. It's a, okay, somebody just feel like they look dumb, okay? 
not more crazy than that thing on the toilet y'all that's crazy i don't know it's i don't know maybe you don't like who you live with and that's why y'all gotta do that but that is crazy okay i mean what if you pooping in there it's just i don't know all right um but yeah this person see life differently now um but they just feel like everything they done to you they can't reach out they like man I, I ain't reaching out this shit just so bad and you know what i'll say to this if if the girl isn't worth it scorpio don't if the dude if the if the dude isn't worth it don't you know if somebody made you feel good and they'll know if somebody made them feel good and if you made them feel good like they say they did scorpio or you did this profound impact on their life then they'll reach out and if they don't it was never meant to be it was never meant to be and I know Scorpio is hard because y'all invest in something with this possessive. You done already put your clinches in there. You done already said, hey, this mine. But, you know, if they ain't got no, they don't want to reach out to you. And even though you done teach them and educate them, they still can't get over their pride and ego. You don't want to be with nobody like that. That person is selfish. Okay? It says, I could be myself with you in reverse. The sad thing about it, Scorpio, is this person felt like they was only authentic when they was with you. Y'all both could be really freaky or something. But this person really felt like they could be they self with you and they felt they felt home with you but they don't want to experience home this person has been hurt mm -hmm, look at this i feel drawn to you okay so this person feels very drawn to you they feel very hurt because you could just pull your energy away from them but they are not good they are toxic and they were trying everything to make you addicted to them but it was not working this person goes around making people addicted to their energy on purpose they thought they was gonna do it to you but you done met your match bro you can't do stuff like that scorpio sad thing about it is the universe was giving this person some kind of blessing but this person was trying to make sure they kept juggling your dumb ass because they felt like you got too much attention but you don't even get even if you get attention you're so fixated on this person because you was possessive you just wanted them you was obsessed with them scorpio i gotta go i love y'all bye Scorpios is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. Huh? And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined, then don't go. go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. Ah. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. That's they appreciate the ones they love, they ain't what the fix shit. Uh -uh. They don't really like people switching up, uh -uh. and they can't be kinda controlling like bitch. Shut the fuck up. Shut Scorpios up. are leaders and they always think ahead. And they also open minded, so you gotta give them credit. Give them. If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy. They also like a meal, so in the kitchen, all you can't be like. Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip. And they do not disappoint, man. You just gotta tap in. Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio. You